Hey, happy Friday to you guys all out there in YouTube land. Spot goes here, and today I am going to be heading down to the DMV to keep my current taxi cab certificate active. Also, what I'll be discussing in this video is I'm going to be talking about Uber, driving for Uber. I was also an Uber taxi driver, which is a little different than an Uber X driver, but I will talk about Uber X, my opinion as a you know, from a taxi cab driver's point of view and also an Uber platform user point of view, uh, I'm going to cover both those things. And so come along. What's up guys? I'm down here at Thomas Square off of uh, Ward Avenue right in town. If you're ever here and want to see some big old banyan trees with a bunch of homeless people, come check it out. Anyway, what I'm going to talk to you about briefly is the uh, taxi thing. You know, I went to the DMV. Once you have your license, it's easy to keep active. So if you think you want to drive a cab here in Hawaii, I'm going to tell you how to do that and then I'll also talk about Uber. So first thing, to get a taxi cab driver's license in Hawaii, you need the following. A Hawaii state license, social security card, good driving record, you gotta pass a written test about rules and regulations, just applying to taxi cabs. And last, the hardest part, is you have to pass a oral test where they're gonna ask you how to get to A to B around town the quickest possible way. That is definitely the hardest part, is that oral test. It took me twice, it takes other people four or five times to pass it. So study up. There are study guides available. Okay, so keep, now keeping that in mind, I was a driver for about four or five years. I'm not currently driving. Uh, my license is still active, or it will be. I, I'm getting, going through renewal now. Um, I drove under Uber Taxi. Uber Taxi is a little different than Uber X, which is pretty common. And how it's different is this. My rates are the same original, you know, the state-run taxi rates. I would equate Uber Taxi more like a taxi dispatch. They still keep the 18%, but they also add a 20% tip in. So for me, it's kind of like working straight off the meter. It's a great, it was a pretty good deal overall because I, I got my regular rates and uh, when, it, when it was slow, I could, uh, I could, you know, I could use Uber Taxi as a uh, way to, you know, get extra calls, you know, that I wouldn't normally get. Uh, I still had the rating thing and I still had all the other rules uh, except I also could have an older vehicle that was older than 10 years which was really nice because uh, taxis get destroyed and if you're driving Uber X you know passengers uh, not all passengers not even most passengers but it just takes a few it can be really rough on your car you know pulling on your door handles uh, you know spilling drinks I had guys spit tobacco or spit or leave trash or whatever you know you're your car gets really beat up, but my my van was old. It was a 2001. It was in good condition, but you know I was just I expected that. That's part of the business, and that kind of leads me into Uber X. A lot of times when people sign up for that and they're driving for uh, in Honolulu here, it's a dollar a mile Uber X. They don't consider that. They don't consider the fact that your car is going to get treated like a taxi and it's going to get busted up by by passengers. And I'm not saying every passenger, and I'm not saying again most passengers, but you know, you get two or three a week out of all that your rides if you're doing this full time. And that's a lot of wear and tear. And how I look at UberX essentially is you're taking equity out of your your car, your new car, your newish car, and you're putting the money in your pocket. But when you go to resell that car, it's it's gonna be worth a fraction of an equivalent car that wasn't used for Uber. As far as doing UberX, uh, there is a, a couple of times where I would recommend it, or not even recommend it, where I would think it'd be okay. Is you know if you're just doing it on the side for a few extra bucks and you got a new car anyway, and yeah, and you need the flexibility, then I guess I could see it being uh, okay. But there's tons of uh, part-time jobs that I think you could do that would bring you in more money um, than doing UberX. Uh, the other thing would be, the other time that I think it would be okay is if you, know, if you live, uh, let's say you live in Kailua and you work in Honolulu or, or vice versa or something like that or if you could work it out where 
you know, you're going going that way anyway. So you're not putting extra miles, you're not putting extra wear and tear. You know, you're just making a few extra bucks going somewhere that you had planned to go anyway. You know, so then it's like, yeah, that, that could be cool too. But as far as uh, doing either Uber X or Lyft, driving for a dollar, dollar twenty a mile, it's for the birds, man. I, I just, I think it's uh, really, uh, you know, as a dr I think it's great as a consumer, uh, but as a driver, I think uh, you're not going to really, you know, you're going to be taking that short-term equity gain out of your car and putting it into your pocket. But again, you know, there's so many hidden costs with UberX that it's um, it just doesn't seem worth it to me in the end. And one last thing I'll touch on: I know there's surge. I know there's and Lyft calls it prime time and, and whatnot. But yeah, it's just that's just a lot of work and. Um, yeah, I just maybe maybe that worked. I've never driven for uh, UberX. You know, when it's surging on I, when I was driving, uh, it was surging on Uber. Well, first of all, that was the downside for taxis is I never got surge. You, we can't legally surge. But the thing is, it would have to be surging like four times. The only time when the surge was ever higher than my metered rate was like on New Year's. So at that time, the demand is so high that people are literally throwing themselves on your car to, to get a ride. So. Anyway, at the end of the day, do I think, I think uh, it's better if it was me. It's a better deal because Hawaii is a free market for taxis. Almost anyone can get a, once you have your license, to get your own taxi is pretty easy. So rather than spending the money for an Uber car, I'd rather take the money, get the commercial insurance, and buy my own taxi. It just seems like a better way to go. Then you have all the freedom of, of airport and, um, you got the freedom of airport, you got the freedom to get flag downs, you get cash, you know, you're saving 20% dealing with Uber. Uh, so, anyways, that's it. Anyway, so, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm going to uh, show you a bitchin' time lapse here at Kuala Basin. Law.